Hi, today we'll be looking into batch control in SQL Accounting. So before we can even use this feature, you will need to check with your dealer whether or not you have this feature. If not, you can always contact them or you can actually contact us if you want to add this feature to your existing SQL Accounting. So to create a batch, all you need to do is to come here. Let's say we go to stock. We need to come to maintain batch. So in SQL Accounting, we are allowed to do one item to one batch or we can use multiple items to a single batch. So for this example, let's say we press new. And for the code here, normally we either use the manufacturer's batch number or if not, then we can actually use our default system batch number. So for this example, we'll use our system default. So in description, we'll put here stock one batch, sorry, stock one batch one. Expiry date, we'll put this as 31st December 2021. And manufacturing date, we can say we want to put 01082020. So at the bottom here, we can select the item. So let's say today we want stock one. So as the K. Alright, so done. Just press save. Alright, so once that's done, now we can actually place the order. So let's say we come to purchase. We come to purchase order. So we say we want to place an order to the vendor. Say A, B, C, D. And then we press item here. Select the purchase stock one and I want to buy 100 pieces at $100. So once we're done, you just press save. So now the goods have been received. You can just come to a goods receive. New. Select ABCD. We right click here. And so from purchase order, select the item. So of course right now you don't see the batch number or we can actually right click here field chooser select my batch come down here and then we can actually tag this to my particular batch okay so once we're done we just press save okay. so let's say for example you will receive another batch so we can press new again here we can say gg now since you stock one item SDK1 and they send you another 100 pieces and here of course you know, this doesn't belong to the same batch we want we can actually come here and press new to create a new batch so we can say leave it as a default and stock one batch two so of course you can change the manufacturing date to say today 9 of August and then of course the expiry date can be a further date say 2022 January 9th and then for here we can select this is the batch for SDK so now when we come here there's two different batches so we can select here and then we can press save yeah, controlling by batch even in the sales module we can actually sell from a different batch so example I today I want to generate an invoice I press invoice new select a customer and select the product SDK1 and you need again batch number is not here you can always right click here field chooser select the batch out and here we can select like, which batch are we selling from so let's say example this batch so you can select here at $150, we done. Just press save. Okay. So, another part of this batch module will be actually the batch expiry. To check this, we can come to stop. Come to stop batch expiry. We can say, I want to see those products that actually meant expiring in 01 12201 until. 31st 012022. So let's say I don't see the manufacturing date. I press apply. The system will then tell me which products going to expire and when and how many more days are remaining. So that's all for today. Uh, I hope this uh, helps you a lot. And if you need any assistance, you can always contact our team. Or if you have any topics that you like us to cover, leave it at the comment below. Thank you.